Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today is episode of 14 of your Texas Rangers franchise mode here on MLB The Show 20. As in today's episode, we're heading into a very big episode as uh, we're back in the ALDS. Uh, this time we're going to be going up against the Boston Red Sox this issue. The, the New York Yankees uh, did not make it into the playoffs. They were they were far away from making it in. They were 78 and 84, which was bullshit because we lost them in like uh, an ass kick in fashion. They absolutely brutally killed us. Uh, but we're going to be going up against a very good team, the Boston Red Sox. And this team is going to be kind of a scary team. Uh, right, Victor Reyes, who can hit up against both. He had a 251 average. Definitely going to be a guy that we're going to have to look uh, look at towards the playoffs. Uh, a guy that could hit against both uh, righties and lefties, right? So um, any switch hands, like he's going to be a very big hitter uh, for the Boston Red Sox. And sorry, guys, if you could hear water flushing down, it's because someone's taking a shower right now, and I'm in the basement. So Alex Vertigo, um, he is kind of weaker against the lefties, but he can hit great against the lefties for contact. So, I mean, either way, you're going to have two great guys that are going to be great hitters no matter what. Uh, Alexander Bogart, he's weak against the lefties. Lindor, kind of the same thing. So if you really want to kind of throw out a lefty against these guys, probably the best bet if we are, like, having to substitute them. Throw in Chapman against Bogarts, Lindor, and Devers will probably be the best bet. Or Peterson, whoever's going to be the best bet to go up against those guys. Uh, then Nuez, he could hit good against lefties. Uh, he could get hit good against righties. Vaught, uh, just in general, a good power hitter. Um, but yeah, they definitely don't have any guy that's going to really smack them dingers 24-7. Um, but the team is definitely not the worst team in the world. Um, hitting wise, uh, pitching wise is where they really take the cake though. They got Jose Barreus, Chris Sale, Jameson Talon, Mike Clevenger, and Dominic Germain. They have an elite pitching core and that is a very scary pitching core for us because we kind of have the same type, kind of thing here in Texas, but I mean, we're going to be going up against guys that have 3.0 ERA. We don't even have that. We have, like, one guy that's near that, and that's Boraki. One fucking guy. So, it's definitely going to be a scary series for um, the Texas Rangers. But, I mean, we're just going to have to do our best. And doing our best is going to, of course, be trying to beat the Boston Red Sox. Even though it is going to be the hardest thing to do to beat this team. But I, I believe in us. I believe in the Texas Rangers that this year could be our year and that we could play the best baseball that we could possibly play. So let's go out there and let's fucking do that. Let's go out there and fucking do this shit. So we're going to start off with Eduardo, uh, Eduardo Rodriguez. We're going to start off with him. Uh, he's going to be the man of the hour that we start off with. Um, I was thinking maybe Ryan Boraki because last year we did start with the, uh, Eduardo. Wouldn't it be bad with to go with Boraki, then Pablo Lopez, and then Eduardo? So I think we're going to start off with Ryan Boraki. He is our all-star guy. He's the big left-handed guy. Um, I feel like Boraki would be somebody good to start the series off with against Boreus, right? We need our best pitcher against their other best pitcher. So let's start the series off with a good um, good start. It's Boraki shutting people down as he uh, almost went three and out. Just got Bogart's one hit there. Valar, great start to the, uh, the uh, bat here. Marte double play, damn it. Oh, and Nunez sends Boraki with a solo home run. That's a rough way to start things off. Big solo home run for the team. As uh, That's definitely not what I wanted to see. And another solo, solo home run is Victor Reyes. He hits one as well as uh, Boraki having a rough time already. As Oh, there we go. One big run already scored. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of a hit and run. Oh, fuck. Caught stealing. That's okay. That is okay. Boraki, if you could go out there for a little bit longer, hammer in some more innings. For us, that would be fucking beautiful. There we go. Two big guys on bait. Whit Mirrorfield. Come on, buddy. Aquino. Fielder's choice. Fucking hell. Come on, guys. Let's get something going. Let's get some batters up on base. And let's get some hits going. We're getting hits. But we just seem to not... We can't cash in any runs. And yeah, we're going up against the big lefty uh, Lindor. We got him out nice. Nunez. Big single. Yeah, we're going to have to change things up. So Devers, he's weak against the lefties. So let's get out... Uh, Let's get out Chapman out there. That'll be a good decision. He's a good fucking pitcher to throw out there. And a three-run home run as Vertigo smashes Chapman out of the park. 
Uh, that was not. That's not fun. That is not a great way to start things off. George Florio, yeah, he's good. Uh, Victor Reyes is good against anything, so I think we're gonna change things up and we're gonna throw out probably our best guy, Dan Winkler. I feel I need to move over my laptop so I can see some of the stats. I feel like Dan Winkler, we could wait and just throw out Edgar Santana just to log against the Manning's because right now we're in such a bad position. Right now, we just gotta get anything going. Cod stealing, fuck me, man. We just gotta get anything going as possibly as much as we can right now. Anything that we can get going, just just throw out some guys to. Yeah, try to do some damage control, but it really does not seem like we're going to be able to do that tonight. We're going to throw out David Peterson just to end things off. He could go out there and shut shut them down. That was not a great way to start things off as we lose 7-1 to against the Boston Red Sox. Game 1, that was rough. Um, My God. That, that was a joke of a game, guys. Were you really going to play like that against the Boston Red Sox again? Like, this is the shits. Like, we should not be playing against the Boston Red Sox like this. We should be able to hit a little bit. We should be able to do some stuff out there, right? We're a good fucking baseball team, and when we're playing like that, that's shit. That is garbage the way that we played out there. We're throwing out Joey Dunning. We're getting some action out of him because I think we're going to be going up against Chris Allen. He's really, really good against lefties. So we're going to practically throw out everyone that's really strong against lefties uh, and see if we get some action going. Jackson Profar wouldn't be bad. Where can he play? He's just not good at facts. He's not too bad at fielding. Uh, so who would he be better at? Profar. But he's not a first baseman. Profar's not a... But what we could do is put him there. And then change the defensive positioning with Gallo because Gallo could play first baseman. And then Jackson Profar could play third baseman for tonight since he's good at lefties and uh, play down there. And we could just have some surprise good hitters for the lefties. There we go. So, Pablo Lopez, we need to have a great start from you, buddy. You really need to be pitching your fucking best out there, buddy. Nice way to get out of that 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 hole. But Valara gets on base with a grunt error. Two errors already and two runs scored. And that's the way we start this game off. All right? But, Lopez, we really need you to do some good shit out there. Two runs scored for the Boston. Are you fucking joking me, Lopez? Where is the pitching from you guys? I picked you up such a long time ago to be consistent fucking pitchers, but you're being shit. You're not doing the shit that I want you to fucking do. Pitch, you dumb cunt. You're not. Fuck you. Fuck you, you worthless piece of shit. Lansling, get your shit out there and get it done. Because we're not losing this fucking game tonight. Oh my god. Why is everyone so shitty? We, we fucking have a great year pitching wise. Nobody struggles throughout the year. But then we go into the fucking playoffs and we get fucking fucked in the ass. Where is everyone? No one could fucking hit. No one's playing good. Oh, what a fucking joke. Come on, Dunny. Get a double. There you go. Hit and run. There we go. We got a run scored. Hit and run. Caught stealing. Fuck me. Could tell Marte single. Come on, guys. Lance Lynn needs to be changed. Um, we're going to go out there and uh, throw out Perdimio. Maybe he can uh, get it done. There we go. Gallo. Come on, Gallo. <laughs> Big solo home run from Gallo. That's what I'm talking about. We're entering this fucking game. Fuck, man. We need to get a fucking home run. This is bullshit. Are we going to play the exact same fucking way? I'm coming to that fucking locker room and I'm yelling at every single fucking Rangers player. Because... Is history going to repeat itself again where we get smacked in the fucking first round again after a 100-win fucking season? That would be a fucking joke. Fucking joke if we were to lose like this again. So go out there and do something fucking good, Aquino. You've been playing shit all fucking playoffs long. Zero for three. You better fucking do something for us, you worthless cunt. Fucking piece of fucking shit. I'm done with this fucking team if we lose to this fucking team. If we lose to this fucking team, I'm done. I'm done. Done. It's bullshit how we lose to every single fucking team every single year. Pop fly there from Aquino, one for one. Oh. I don't know, man. This Texas Rangers team, if we don't win this year, I, I don't know. 
I don't know what else to do. Like, pitching-wise, we definitely need to improve on that. <sighs> Aquino, big hit there. That could be a double. Go for it, Aquino. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Run. That's a huge double from Aquino. That makes the game very, very close for the uh, Texas Rangers. Very, very close. And I'll remember, um, I think we're in the bottom of the ninth, right? Because uh, they threw out their closer. I think we're in the bottom of the ninth. But what a huge hooker. <laughs> They're there from Aquino. He hooked it right. And that was just what we needed. We needed that big hit. Yeah, we're in the bottom of the ninth. So we could possibly get a walk-off hit victory. And we need that tonight. We really do need that. So Santana, you need to step it up to this series, man. Two for six this, this series. We really need to see you, buddy. You've been big all series long. All series long, you've been big for us. Right? You, you've been a big-time hitter for us. But we really, really need to see you right fucking now. Right now, we need you to step it up and get a big hit for us. Big two-run home run would be beautiful. Be beautiful if we could see that big two-run home run. Because that, that would walk things off for the Texas Rangers right now. That would walk everything off and we would be walking into uh, the series tied, which is what we really need right now. We need this series tied at two. We cannot take another loss. This is something where I, I am not taking a loss. We need a victory here tonight, and if we lose, then I'm going to lose my fucking shit. I would really lose my shit. But uh, come on, Santana. Come on, Santana. That uh, just looks right. So what is Kenley, uh, Kenley Jansen? He's a right-handed pitcher, right? So if I just go back to Team Select here, I just want to check out uh, substitutions here. So Santana, DH, can hit pretty good against right-handers. Profar is weak. So, we are definitely going to be switching him up, I think, to probably like someone like Tommy Edmond or even Whit, Whit Murfield. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, and then we'll, we'll see once we get back in there. But right now, the play is Santana hits here against Ken, uh, Jensen. Then once Santana's done, we will change our profile for somebody else. Ooh, that would have been a nice hit, man. Two for two. Fuck. Kenley Jensen has him on the brakes right now. Aquino at uh, at uh, at second right now as he had a big double. We need uh, that's foul. That's foul. That was huge. That was huge being foul, man. That would have been the easy out for uh, the uh, the Red Sox there. Come on, Santana, look at the proper pitch and hit that pitch. Don't go after that one. Nice job. Three for two. Pro far on deck. Yep, he's not going to be on deck too much longer because we're going to yank him. And we're gonna go with somebody else, but Santana needs to be uh, needs to get a big hit for me. Come on, Santana! Oh, walk! That is huge. Two one bet. Okay, 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 okay. We need to um, we'll wait until Profar pitch runner Tommy Edmond. That's smart. I like that run. Tommy Edmond at uh, that that okay. I like the manager what he's doing. I like what the manager's doing there. Um, that was smart by the manager. And now what I'm going to do Who do we use? I think with we don't need a home run. We need to play it smart right now. Contact, contact, contact. We don't need to focus on hitting. Ronald Guzman had a bad season. So Whit Murfield, he could hit really good against righties and we're going to trust him on that, right? We're going to trust Whit Murfield on hitting against big righties. We have two speedy guys out there, right? So if we get a big hit from Murfield and sends it, that can cost us maybe two runs. Big hit. Right up the middle. Right up the middle. Go home. Go home. Go home. Go. 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 Let's go. Big fucking. I love Aquino, man. The speed was huge. That gets us a big run. That's why we put in Murfield. That's why we put in Murfield, boys. The big tactics is Murfield fucking rockets is up middle. Now, Joey Dunnan, uh, now they're switching it up. Trevor May. Um, okay, we'll have to see what Trevor May has looked like. Uh, Right-handed guy. Um, Joey Dunnan's not too bad. I don't think he's had too bad of a game. 333 tonight. 1-4. Um, I don't know if he's going to be a big clutch guy for the team though right now. Maybe throw in somebody else that can maybe run in something bigger than him. And I'm thinking Ronald Guzman. Problem is, is who do we replace him, right? Wart Murfield there. Tommy Edmond, we could just switch with uh, that. We could just do that. I think Ronald Guzman is the best bet for us right now. 
or we go with Carlos Velez, who can do everything, and he can hit power, and he has doesn't have as good as clutch as Guzman. Um, but I feel like maybe giving the youngster a try wouldn't be a bad idea. He's nice and speedy, so if he gets on base, he's going to be fast. Joey Dunn's not too bad either, but I mean his clutch is not as high as uh, some other people. And Carlos Velez's vision is pretty high up there. So Velez, we're going to trust in you, buddy. We're trusting. We're putting all our power in you, Velez. We know, like, we've developed you into a very good prospect and stuff. We are, we're, we're trusting on Carlos Velez on cashing in the last run to maybe win this team a game. Velez, he hits the first pitch, 96 miles per hour, and uh, sends that foul. Okay. That didn't end up being anything for us, but uh, nice hit by Velez. That was a clutch hit there, smart hitting there, and... Uh, I'm liking what Velez is doing out there, man. He's doing what he needs to be doing, and that's uh, on the outside. Perfect. Don't don't go for those nasty pitches, Velez. You'll get killed out there if you go for those ones. But uh, Trevor May, you know Velez is not going to go after anything stupid, and he goes after that one as well. One for two, and then we got Sam Huff after this. So um, we have no outs though. So that means Velar and um, fucking Arezu will be coming up. That means then. Ooh, dip, 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 dip. Oh, that yeah. Uh. That is what it is. It is what it is. You can't you can't get everything lucky. Good job, Velez, though. You did good. You did good, buddy. I know uh, you didn't uh, cash in anything. Uh, but Sam Hoff, he's two for three for tonight. We're going to trust in Sam Hoff right now. Sam Hoff uh, needs to be the guy that we trust. He's been hitting big time tonight. And uh, hopefully he could bring something uh, big into Texas right now, right? The fans are waiting in anticipation for that right now. We're playing a huge game right now. Holder in the bullpen. Um, this is a big game for us right now. We tied up the game. We tied up the game. So we know that it's going into extending innings. We really, really don't want that. We want to finish things off now. So let's get this done, guys. We don't need to go in the extra innings. Sam Huff, foul that one. One for one. Sam Huff, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Sam Huff, why did he go after that? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lordy. Why did he go after that? That was a bad pitch to go after. That was a really, really bad pitch to go after. Come on, May. Come on, May. Outside pitch, two for two. Good job not going after that one. He's been kind of noticing that you've been going for those outside pitches. So you got to play smart with this one. So he's probably going to go in the middle. Huff, what the fuck are you doing, buddy? How do you miss on something like that? May just blew that one right past him. So, uh, it's John the Villar now. He's 222 on the night. We also got Catal Marte, uh, which is huge. So, we just need Villar to get a hit. Villar to get a hit. Either that or Marte. He will be going up next. Um, so Villar, um, we really... I don't know. Is Flar really going to be the... But I mean, really, you got, like, we got Guzman and Buster Posey in there now, right? Like, we really don't got very much selection to go from here. But Vilar is pretty good contact-wise with righties anyways. We just need to see Vilar do something for us right now is the big problem. We really need Vilar to do something for us right now. And uh, we need him to hit something. We really need Vilar to hit us something. So Vilar... We have two outs, two guys on base. Let's get this going. And he goes after another nasty pitch. Trevor May is killing us. Trevor, ever since Trevor May got put out there, and uh, he's been killing us. He's he's really, really been deadly out there. And, and that's been the shitty part. If Jensen stayed out there a little bit longer, we would have been able to get the victory. But uh, Jen, this guy has just really, really been laying a doubt on us. And those, those fast fastballs. 97 miles per hour. They're really, really killing the guys out there right now. And uh, it's looking a little bit rough here for the Texas Rangers as we really want to put this to rest right now, right here. But I don't think that's going to be the case. It's another ball to the outside, two for two. If Valar, if you could just keep watching those pitches go by, maybe get another walk here. Um, and maybe burn Trevor May a little bit more. I, I would like that idea. Burning Trevor May a little bit more so in the next inning we don't have to... Uh, we don't have to use them very much. And that's another low pitch. Three for two. A. Bases are loaded. Catal Marte's on deck. 
Valar, play, keep playing it smart, buddy. Trevor May, he's uh, looking a little hesitant here, man. Right? You got this, Valar. We believe in you. We picked you up for a reason to be the man of this team. We believe in you, buddy. Valar. Dip, 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 dip. Please be an error. Fuck, you got it. All right, game tied at six. We're going to extra innings, boys. We are going to extra innings. So, uh, Whitmer Field at second. We need to uh, actually uh, change all that up right quick once uh, they're done kind of introducing everyone because um, defensive positioning. No, I need to substitute. Yeah, oh, no, fuck. Substitution. Substitution. Because uh, Carlos Velez cannot play. Moving the designated hitter to a fielding position will forfeit the designated hitter role to the pitcher. Must bat for the remainder of the game. Oh, fuck me. I did not know that. So what we could do, let's see here. We'll play Marte as the second, as this guy. And Velez will have to play right field for right now. That's just the way that it's going to have to be. He's just going to have to play right field for right now. We're going to have to take that kind of risk. So we're going to go back to quick manage. Luis Perdimio against uh, Nunez. Uh, Perdimio has been very good pitcher for us. Um, but I feel like Dan Winkler will be the best bet for us because of the fact that he's our big guy. Uh, George Florio, we're going to trust in Dan Winkler right now when we're back out there. Okay, let's go out there. Catal Marte, you're out there, buddy. And uh, we need the trust in Marte right now to be a big pitcher for us, right? Marte is our big guy right now. He's really the big pitcher. So, Marte, come on, buddy. All we need is one home run. All we need is that one run to finish things off. And Mays, the, Trevor May is not going to be. I don't, I don't think this is Trevor May anymore. This is a totally different pitcher. Yeah, it's Carl Ed, It's Edwards Jr. now. It's not May anymore. I don't know why they still have May up there for some reason. It's uh, not Trevor May. It's Edwards Jr. now. So, uh, Marte, come on, buddy. That's a pitch way up high. 3-0 and oh already as uh, Marte might be getting walked here. We all know Marte is a deadly ass p a hitter. We all know that. Marte is a very deadly hitter out there. And uh, Edwards Jr. walks Marte right off the get-go with four in a row pitches. May is back in the bullpen there. And uh, Marte takes that walk. Okay. I'll take that. I'll take that any day of the week right now. So Luis Arezu, 1-4 on tonight. Come on, Arezu. Come on, Arezu. Come on, buddy. We know you've been a big hitter for us. We need... Oh, bunt. He's bunting. Fuck. 94 and 98 miles per hour pitch. Holy fuck, man. He's really throwing the wind. As Arezu tried to bunt it to get Marte uh, uh, in a leadoff position. As Arezu takes that one back. Smart idea. This is going to be a very long episode. It's only game two. And the, this game is going into extra fucking innings, man. Ooh, bunt it. Go, Marte. Go, buddy. Oh, we might actually be able to get... Oh, he's out. Arezu's out. Fuck, man. That was close. That was really close. But we uh, advanced Marte. So Marte's at second base. I like the, the way that the manager did that. Now, Joey Gallo in the last inning... He, he hit a huge home run. Huge home run. Now, we know from recent experience from Vladimir Guerrero Jr., usually big hitters like this don't usually hit big dinners in uh, home one or in postseason situation. Gallo's already been kind of struggling in the postseason, but we need him to be a big hitter right now for the team. We really need him to be that, that big hitter for the Texas Rangers right now and get us home that, 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 that the, this game. We need to win this game tonight. As he hits that one down low, it's two for one now. Oh, and Edwards Jr. shaking off the uh, the catcher there. That's a little uh, sketchy there, buddy. What are you doing? Why are you... Ooh, that's going to be caught. He's going to take up, though. Go, Marte. Go, Marte. Go, buddy. Uh, he's not going to go. Smart idea. Smart idea. Oh, it would have actually wouldn't have been a bad idea to go. Wouldn't have been a bad idea to go. Aquina has also been struggling this uh, postseason. Um, I think he's in the, the field, right? I think he's playing um, in the outfield, right? I just want to see. I think he's playing outfielder. Yeah, Aquino's playing outfield, so even if we were to throw... I mean, if we were to throw Guzman in there, wouldn't be a bad idea. 
He's been struggling a lot this postseason. Hasn't really been that clutch hitter that we really need on the B. Maybe we throw out Ronald Guzman. And then we just switch him for first baseman there. I think that's what we do. Ronald Guzman, you're going out there, buddy. We need you uh, to get a big dinger, dinger or big hit for us right now, man. You've been on the team since day one of this fucking team, man. Day fucking one of me joining this squad. You've seen this team grow into a championship team. And now, Guzman, it's your chance to put this team into that big step, into that big role where we need to be. We got two outs right now. We're in, a, we're in a position where we need that big hit from you, buddy. We're in that position where we need a big run to, to move on, right? We need that from you. As uh, he swings and biffs it, as Edwards Jr. caught him on that one. Come on, Guzman. Come on, Guzman. Get a big hit for us, buddy. And he swings hard on that one. God, man, this is, uh, this is a very intense... Fucking series for us right now, man. That one goes out two for two. Edwards Jr. is being careful here with Guzman. He really is being careful with Guzman here. He's not really uh, pitching inside the zone. He, he kind of knows that Guzman can really deck him. And uh, he really hasn't really been pitching inside too much. Guzman. Ooh, dip, 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 dip. Fuck. Fuck, man. Fuck. And the game still goes on. <laughs> God, man, this is, uh, yeah, we don't want you in the outfield, but that's okay. Team select. I want to be the Texas Rangers. Um, substitutions. Um, we want Guzman playing first baseman now. Yep. There we go. Oh, what the fuck? No. There we go. Left field, right. There we go. That, that's how we want it. And then we're going to go back to quick manage. So, hopefully, they are still in their defensive positionings. Yep, Guzman at first. Okay, sweet. So, quick manage. I think Dan Winkler is still the play here. Dan Winkler is still the play here. Uh, we're going to keep him in there. He walks. Victor Reyes will keep him in there. Shrike out. Vertigo. We keep him in there. Walk. And now, Alexander Bogart's really weak against lefties. And Chapman's tired. Rodriguez. Um... I think we throw in David Peterson. He was big last time for us. We're going to have to trust him now. He's a pitch runner. Indoor. We're going to... I'm going to trust Peterson. Fuck Peterson. That's what I'm talking about, man. We trust Peterson and he gets us that shit done, baby. He gets that shit fucking done. He goes in there. He gets the shit done, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Go out there, Tommy Edmond. Come on, baby. You're 250 on, uh, in the playoffs. Come on, baby. We need something big from you, baby. Bubba, bubba. Bubba, bubba, bubba. All right, but this is this is big for us right now, right? We're in the 11th inning. It's been going very long. We've been having a very long game here against the Boston Red Sox right now, and it's... Oh, oh, go, go, lift, lift, lift. Oh, go, Edmund, go, Edmund, go, Edmund. You, you could go fucking triple, baby. No, double. Dude, that was almost a fucking walk-off home run for Tommy Edmond, though, as he starts off this fucking inning with a huge hit. He fucking yanks that. He yanks that to an open field, almost gets a huge home run for the Texas Rangers. Holy shit, guys. That almost ended the game there. We're at Mirrorfield. We've seen him do some great shit in the last inning there. He, you've seen him pull a huge hooker, and he goes after a bad pitch there. That's okay, Murfield. That's okay, buddy. We could, we could bounce back from this one. We know we can't. We could bounce back from this one, okay? So let's bounce back. That's all we need to do. You got this, Murfield. You got this, Murfield. That one's right to the outside. Whip Murfield, we trust in you, man. You're the big veteran on the team, the big clutch hitter, and we need you to do something big for us. Come on, Murfield. And that goes right to the outside, two for one. Fuck, man, this is this is going to be a close one. No matter which way we put it, this is going to be a fucking close game. And we need a big hit right now. Just one big hit. That does us. Oh, oh, go home. Go home. Oh, yeah, but let's go. Walked off fucking errors. Tommy Edmond runs in. Tommy Edmond gets a huge fucking double. 
and then Wormir filled. I thought that was gonna be an out, but it goes right to the fucking first minute basement and goes right through his fucking feet. I thought it was over. I thought that game was over, baby. But the Texas Rangers. Oh my god. My acid reflex is starting to engage on me now. But look at Murfield. A pitch that just went through Vaught. And uh, and Tommy M we got an easy uh, fucking run there. What a game, boys. That's what I'm talking about. We got a battle for these suckers. Right? We're, we're not just going to sit down and die. And uh, we didn't do that. We, we, we arise to the occasion. We stepped our shit back up. And we got that huge win. And uh, what a big game. And I had some extreme tactics in there, guys. That was some extreme tactical shit. We threw out the right hitters at the right times and weren't Murfield. I do not regret throwing out that motherfucker. He was the smartest idea ever to throw it each and every time. So let's get into the next game. And now uh, we're starting Eduardo Rodriguez, baby. We're starting Rodriguez. Rodriguez is getting his chance to start things off. And uh, we're facing up against a right-hander, so I think we, we keep everyone that's in the lineup right now. I think that's the best bet to do, and let's get this game underway, all right? So let's get off to a hot start here, guys. And that was not the hot start that we really wanted to start off, and that was really not the start that we wanted to get off from what we had last game where we were kicking ass, and Rodriguez just absolutely gets bombshelled out there. Double play. Fuck, man. This is uh, has been a very slow-run game here for the... Uh, for the uh, Texas Rangers here, it just seems like we're not able to really do anything as it is a pitcher's duel right now after, since that first inning. No one's really letting off the gas pedal here right now. Another fucking solo home run, man. Fucking hell. Come on, Valar. Res you. There we go. Big hit. Can tell Marte. Double. One run scored. Um, we're going to do a hit and run. Boom. Another fucking run scored, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Murfield. Strikeout. Okay, Rodriguez, um, who are facing Nunez. He's weak against righties, but he's powerful against lefties. So we're going to change things up. And we're going to go with our man, Perdimio. Uh, and he's going to go in there for uh, an inning and do his work. Edmund, big single. We need a uh, hit and run. There we go. Big hit and run. Swing. Fuck. Uh, George Florio, we're going to keep him in there for one inning. And then Perdimio, we could double. Uh, we're going to change things up. He's weak against righties, so we throw out Winkler. And we're just going to rely on Winkler. <sighs> Didn't get us out of there, but that's okay. We're still two runs away from this game. So we're going to jump in this one because of the fact that we're, we're so close again. And that's the thing. We really got to get a lead in this fucking series. Like, we have not been able to get a proper lead in this series. And it kind of fucking sucks because it looks like we're going to lose this game as well against the uh, Boston Red Sox here. But we got to really play good, right? Like, we really got to play good right now. Oh, fuck, I can't change the team. Shit. Um, I'm not going to swing after the first pitch here because uh, I don't remember how to play the game. Just going to not swing after the first pitch. Like, uh, yeah, I know. I know, I didn't want to actually play the game. I'm out here to watch it, so. Arezu. I mean, at least we're only down. I mean, we don't want to be down 2-1. Like, we really don't want to be down 2-1 right now. And we really want to start playing good is the problem. It's just, we're, our pitching uh, with Rodriguez and stuff like that, Boraki, it just seems like those guys are not doing what we really need, need them to do. They're not giving us that punch to kind of keep us in the games, right? Like, right off the get-go, we start down 2 nothing, And that's just the way that it's been starting for a lot of our games, where we start down 2 nothing, 3 nothing, and we had to battle back. And and that's the thing. I don't like battling back. I'm not that type of team where battling back is a good thing for us as a res who that's a fly-up. Yeah. We have no chance of winning this game, boys. We have no fucking chance of winning this game. I'm not even going to watch this game because the, the video is already at the point that's at. There's no fucking way we make the comeback that we can make co come back, man. There's no fucking way. Why am I not being able to quick manage here, man? All right, make your next pitch. 0 for 1 already. Why can't I do any quick managing? That's so weird. Why can't I do that? It's just like, it's just Jensen setting up so fucking fast to the point where I can't actually fucking do anything right now. 
That sucks. I don't know why. Oh my god, Marte. How are you fucking missing on that, buddy? That's oh, because I have to go to Team Select, go down to Texas. And then once it uh, it's done loading up here, we can go back to Quick Manage. Swing, swing. Yeah, there we go. And we're down 2-1. I don't know what the tactic is going to be next game. It's just our pitchers have to play good. Like, Rodriguez, like, played good majority of the rest of the game. Like, he did solid for us. Like, the rest of the game, Rodriguez played great, but right off the get-go, he struggled, and uh, we can't be having that. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's really confusing right now. Like, the, the, the position that we're at right now is that we're just getting our asses kicked, and there's no doubt about that. So... Game five it is now, and we got to play our best out here, boys. We really got to play our best, and uh, we can't play like shit tonight. Uh, everyone is tired. Lance Lynn is tired, so it's looking like we're going to have to use the rookie hands Kraus in a fucking big game like this. And if we need to, we'll throw in Lance Lynn. But right now, we're going to have to use our big rookie in Lance Lynn uh, to start this series off. We're going to have to face Clevenger, so I mean, we're facing a little bit of a weaker pitcher. Uh, but Hans Kraus really is not off to a great start. That's okay, though. He can rebound. It's only two runs. We got the game tied up. It's practically a new game, all right? So Hans Kraus, we really need you to play big right now for us, okay? Against those big hitters, we really need you to shut them down. Big hits there from our guys. Sam Huff, Devers, Kraus. Come on, Kraus. Gotta fucking do something good for us, man. For fuck's sakes. Okay, we're gonna... We're switching over to David Peterson. We'll get the left-hander out there, and uh, he will shut them down. Villar, come on. Uh, hit and run. Nothing. Fuck. Come on. Where? Murfield. Big run. Aquino. Fuck. Fuck that shitty. That was such a huge fucking build up there, and we had such a great chance against some huge runs. Arezu. Big run ties the game up at two. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we needed. Big walk again. Uh, we're not going to go for a suicide squeeze. Nothing. Okay. Um, Nunez, he's good against lefties, but he I think he's the only guy that's good against. Uh, ooh. Victor Reyes. Victor Reyes. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Shit, shit. We're going to trust him. We're going to trust. Uh, yeah, we're going to trust Peterson. One last. Peterson, I love you, baby. I love you, Peterson, man. You're fucking god this playoffs for us. You're fucking pitching like a fucking beast for me right now, man. Okay, Xander Bogarts. Um, we're going to trust you right now because you've been pitching really good against these guys. And uh, we need you to continue pitching really good against those guys. Big walk, Ketal Marte. Nothing. Gallo, we really need you to do something. So, Peterson, we're going to have to change you up now because you're getting to the point where uh, you've been pitching for us for a while now. And I don't want to waste... Every bit of you. Um, and Gers Santana, you could go out there. This is how it's really going to be. <laughs> That's just really how it's going to be in today's playoffs. It's just, it's just our fucking luck right now, man. It is really just our luck right now, man. We got uh, Quino up there, man. Pitch hit. We're going to pitch him. him. Uh, for a guy that's really good against righties, I can do some good hitting. And I think that might be Guzman. But uh, we're going to go in the game. I mean, it's just uh, Edgar Santana. <sighs> Edgar fucking Santana gets a solo home run. Hey, we should have went with Perdimio. We should have went with Perdimio. Should have, but we didn't. Oh, well. Oh, fucking well. Sometimes you just, oh, I didn't mean the fucking, ah. Uh. There we go. Sweet, I missed the strike zone. Sweet. I hate Canley Jansen. He fucking gets ready too quick. Gets ready way too quick. But, I mean, I don't think this playoffs is for us. We, we've been seeing this playoffs has really not been a good year for pitching for us it's been showing that we're we're still very weak in the pitching core and that we need to improve upon that and we we i think we got a pretty decent hitting core we've been able to hit a pretty good amount 
but we have not been able to keep the runs back. And uh, I think that's been a big thing. It, it cuts off all your momentum when you really can't cancel out the runs, when you can't stop the other teams from hitting and getting home runs and stuff like that. When that's happening, we really can't do anything about that. So it's just you, you're going to see the team struggle like what you're seeing now. And it sucks to see this team struggle like we're seeing it now, but I mean, it is what it is. As, uh, that sucks, man. This has really been a shitty game for the team. As, uh, base, uh, it's a full count here for Guzman. He fouls that one off. I mean, if he could get Jensen some fucking, uh, Hits here. Maybe we could get lucky and pull off a quick home run to tie up the game. But, I mean, that that's going to be extremely lucky for us right now. It's Guzman. Ooh, big hit from there from Guzman. Okay, okay. That's a big single. That puts a man on base. And that means the guy that's coming up, I think, is Tommy Edmond, if I'm correct. Right? Uh, no, it's... Oh, Santana, baby. Santana. He's 0 for 3 on the night. But we're going to trust him. We're going to trust Santana on this. Because we we seen him had a big year this year. And we're going to fucking trust him. That's going to be on the outside. Good job not going for it. We're going to trust Santana here, guys. Okay? We're going to trust Santana on this part because I believe in him. All right? I believe in Santana right now. Down low pitch. We really need him right now. We really need fucking Santana to do something for us right now. This is that type of game. It's that type of game where we really need to step up right now. Come on, Santana. Another ball to the outside. Ooh. Okay. Um, thing about that is... Shit. Tommy Edmonds up next. We got to substitute him and go after somebody else. Come on, Santana. Ooh, I was right on the inside. 3-1. Three, 3-1. One. Three, and one. Three and one. Come on, Santana. You've been good for us all year. Come on. Fouled it. Fouled it. 3-2. Fuck. That's not a good position, but hey, that means we could just start running people because it's 3 for 2. And we could just try to get Guzman in the next uh, spot. That's it. That is it. Double play. Santana played right into the double play, and that's it, boys. The uh, Boston Red Sox will be moving on to the next round. Well deserved. And uh, the Texas Rangers, once again, they, they played down. And I, I can't uh, yell anymore. Uh, we lost in the first round once again. It sucks. It, it really, it, the heartache does suck. This year, at least we won a game, is what we can say. At least we didn't lose love in the two, but it still hurts. You lost the first game 7-1, to one, and... You weren't able to get the pitching that you wanted. Even in this game, we didn't get the pitching that we wanted. Hans Kraus was uh, was not playing the way that we wanted. And uh, Luke Vaught, the, uh, the former Blue Jay guy that hit us a big home run in the, that series, and the home runs for that. And Santana was really the, uh, the guy that buried us there. I don't know really what to do with this team. And I think it, most of the blame is pitching. There's no doubt about that. You can see right there. And you can take a look at every card game. Right? You can take a look at every fucking game. Right? Let's take a look at this game. Right off the get-go. Third inning. Like, look at the first two innings for the Texas Rangers. Later on, it was it was helped in by the fucking the bullpen fucking being shitty. But you could just see by overall, just we weren't having good pitching. Boraki gave up six hits in five innings. Right? Four runs. Chapman gave up a run. Santana gave up two, right? Like it's it's been a storied history where it's been our pitching, right? Like it's really been our pitching that has been the lack of everything, um, and has not been good. The most of the runs were scored in the first inning of this game. This game, all the in the all the runs were scored mostly in the first game when we were trying to fight back in that game. This game as well, the first inning was right off the get-go. And, and that's not good for us. We we don't need struggling like that, right? And we need pitchers that can actually do as good in the playoffs and and, and pitch good and do, do something for our fucking team. And we really haven't been able to do that. 
Um, you know what? Big big pitchers like Edgar Santana really struggled this playoff. So we probably played him way too much. Probably should have gave Stevenson a try. Um, but we really need to retool this team. And we really need to fix it up. Because uh, this season was a real bad season. And uh, I'm going to end things here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. In the next video, we're going to take on the offseason. Hopefully, we can try to rebalance this team. I felt like, yeah, look at hitting. Hitting was pretty good. Valar, I mean, struggled. And I think Valar is definitely a guy that we get rid of. But, um, yeah, it was a bad season for the uh, Texas Rangers. And it is what it is. Sometimes you're just going to have a couple bad seasons like that to figure out what's the good in the end. But for right now, guys, I'm going to sign off here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios, amigos.